so far away. <laughs> All right, dedication. G'day guys, take a lift. Cheers mate, cheers. Oh, what? Oh, thanks mate, I've been out there for ages. Oh, just heading to Melbourne, that's all right. What a day. <laughs> So we're here at Rocket and Bell's uh, vintage shop in Ballarat. Um, she is the most amazing woman, and I've bought a old, old school butter churn from her. So I'm coming to pick it up. But then I also realised that we forgot to get some plates, and uh, for the, for cooking this afternoon. And so we're going to probably try and search for some of those. We might have to just wing it a little bit, but it's all part of the fun. See? Look at it. It makes me so excited. I've been wanting one of these for so long. Come here, Belle. Belle. <laughs> Look at that. It's a big mushroom just sitting on there. Oh no, it's just, <laughs> I thought it was a spider. <laughs> 100%. Perfecto. So I can just use this as a serving plate forever. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I know, right? This is the best stop off ever. See you soon. Bye. Oh, Jason. Hey, mate. How are hey, we? Hey, Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. No worries at all, man. I love the spot. Yeah, it's not a bad spot. Is it yours? Uh, no, it's my parents' place. Yeah, good. yeah I wish it was mine. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd love to have that paycheck. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mushrooms are paying you too well. How's it going? How long have you been here for? Um, I've been here for probably, uh, I've lived here for about 12 years. Nice. Yeah, so um, actually, I sold a property over in Napoleon's to fund this whole operation. Really? Um, and then my parents let me set everything up here. That's so amazing. Yeah. Nice parents. Um, and we'll be moving. Oh, I'll be moving up the road. I uh, just bought 20 acres up there to so expand to. Yeah, so. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. And your folks love it? They do, yeah, yeah. That's a good thing, because I think the most important part is making sure that the parents are happy. That's it. <laughs> Especially when you're using their land, right? Yeah, well, that's right, yeah. And then they can't tell you what to do afterwards. Where about the spot? Uh, it's down here. We can head down. If can you like. we? Yeah, definitely. Amazing. So, this is it. Amazing. Obviously, you can see the um, old refrigerated sh shipping containers. The new property, we're building a big shed. Um, and these will all be inside, so we'll still use those as grow rooms. Um, we'll have a separate incubation area and stuff like that. But, um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So they're still going to be in use? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then from there, um, this is the uh, incubation area. Oh, this is the exciting part, right? Without a doubt, the exciting part. It's all sort of all over the place at the moment. The lab's over the other side, so yep. from the, from the sterilisers, they go into the lab. Um, they'll get inoculated with um, mushroom spawn. Um, you can see they're starting to, the mycelium is starting to take over the, the bags there. That white means they're nice and healthy. Cool. And they'll, they'll get to so a point. So that's a big one then? Yeah, so that one's um, nearly ready to go into fruiting. Once it's completely taken over with the mycelium, then it goes into the, um, the fruiting rooms. This is so sick. <laughs> My God, this is amazing. This is like its own little... This is, this and then it leads into that? Yeah, so that's the grow room. This used to be my old lab, but I've got a new lab now. So I have four grow rooms, so pretty much one for each species. So one kings, one oyster, one lion's mane, and then one shiitake as well. And then that's it? For now, yeah. Why this? Like, tell us about Mushroom Connection. Tell us what's so good about it, why you started it. Where, where Actually, where did the inspiration come from? Maybe start with that. Yeah, I started off with like a little four-tier greenhouse that you get from Bunnings. Yeah. Started growing them in them, and then... And it worked? Yeah, yeah, and sort of noticed a bit of a gap in the market, and I thought, I'll just have a crack, basically. Any yeah. fuck-ups? Oh, plenty. Yeah? What's the <laughs> yeah. worst? Um, I think just the contamination issue, like getting contaminated uh, grow bags and stuff like that, like it takes a while to, to master your technique. What does it look like? Uh, it starts off like, a, it just looks like a mould and then depending, it can get different types of mould and stuff in there. Um, a lot of them are just green, just look 
mouldy right, pretty much. Right, because the white mould is the is the one you're looking for, right? Well, it's a, it's a mycelium, so it's yeah. similar to a mould, but um, ah. yeah, yeah. I know where I'm going to be. Like, I will just be staying up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look like, they look like a baby, like, pug. <laughs> look, tell us the specifics of, like, each mushroom and what you look for and, yep. I guess, the style. And when you sell it or when you, you cook, cook with it, what are you looking for for the perfect style of mushroom? So, obviously, you've got lion's mane here. Yeah. Um, so, uh, looking for, that's getting towards harvestable size. Like, you're looking for the, um, the spines to sort of, once they hang down a little bit, it's pretty much harvestable. And then you've got the, the kings, king oysters. So that's pretty much perfect example of what you're looking for there. What is it? There's more bacteria in a spoon of soil than there are in a body. I think there's. Or in, or in, yeah, I've heard that before. There's um, eight. I think it's eight miles of mycelium, which is the white stuff in here, in a square inch of soil under the ground. So. Shut up. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Can we fact check that. I haven't measured it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They are so gorgeous. Yeah. And so these, blue oysters, yep. white oysters. White oysters. Tell me about these. Um, so they're just your standard oyster mushroom. Um, they're just my favourite ones to grow, pretty much. Right. So why don't? You, so you don't let these through. You only just grow one section. Is that because they get so big? Um, pretty much, yeah. So if you if you were to take that whole that whole outer um, plastic bag off, yeah. Um, they only fruit. Um, and grow really small, so you get a lot of smaller mushrooms. Whereas if you restrict the, the fruiting hole, then you get a lot bigger ones. They put all their energy into the a fewer, so a fewer mushrooms. Space. Yeah, if that makes sense. Sick. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> yeah. Capers for everything. Spatula for that cake we're going to bake. <laughs> Tote bag because not plastic. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll soon find out that, right? <laughs> oh, bollocks. Doing too much at once. Hello, sly puppy. I'm not a sheep. <laughs> so, plan one is we're going to cook with a lion's mane. And we're going to Dutch oven it. So I've got an epic Dutch oven, which is heating up now. Hopefully it gets nice and hot. But we're going to make a quick marinade out of the mortar and pestle. We're going to rub it all over the lion's, ma the lion's mane. Uh, and then we're going to put it in the Dutch oven and we're just going to let it roast. Right. Mortar and pestle, lemon, hazelnut oil, regular olive oil is fine if needs be. Let's put that there. Some. Really fresh rosemary, which is amazing. So, because I'm not going to belt the living daylights out of it uh, on this bench, we're going to go over to the grass and I'm just going to, you know, rough it. Crossing legs. Oh, yoga. Tell you what, mate, that breeze is good. <laughs> Seriously, need it. <laughs> it is hot. Just... We're going to eat a fly at the same time. The example of what it's going to look like. So it's going to sort of emulsify with the garlic and the lemon and the fat and the oil. Pretty simple. Now, if you just come back with me over to the mushroom over here, I'll uh, reveal the big reveal of the mushroom. Blue oyster. It's so cool, man. You must be so happy about that. It looks spectacular. And then that baby there. So this is the lion's mane. Pour it on top. Really gonna be delicious. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. It's hot in there, so. So that should be delicious in my mind. I know this sounds weird. We'll do two dishes, just to be a pain in the ass. But we'll do this freaker, which is sick. So we're cooking that down in a mushroom dashi. But it's been. I then infused it heavily with um, burnt onion and garlic skins, just got that darkness out of it. So it's really umami. And then I put some coffee beans in there as well, which is really cool.
<laughs> this is what we try to sharpen knives. So, in the mortar, we've got three black garlic cloves, the whites, and a little bit of the greens, and two spring onions. We've then got some dried oregano, thyme. And then we're gonna go back to the ground. Nice hunk of salt. Spoonful of capers. Turn that into a paste. Some oil. Cool, come back over. All right, so, skillet. I'm just gonna take a photo of that as well. Pause, or well, maybe not. Double skill. Cool. I'm just gonna take a slice off this pepper because I don't need it all, but great for color, great for texture as well. Put that over there with your amazing greenery there. And then this, yep, that's ready. Can you tell because it's back in that? Not a sizzle to be heard. Let's get closer. Absolutely delicious. It soaked up pretty much all that juice. All right. Assemblies. One pot wonder style stuff. Let's do that around. I want to ruin the structure, you know? I want to come out of one piece. <laughs> come on, baby. All of it. All in one. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's like our Lion King moment, basically. <laughs> Simba. How beautiful is that? Look at the gills. Seriously, the best mushrooms in Victoria Lane. Cover the bums a bit. There we go. We don't have to make fake sounds out of that one, baby. Straight up real. Let's check on the lines, mate. What do you reckon? <laughs> Look at that. It's perfect. Oh it's so full of flavor. That's just pure juice. Okay. All right, well, let's... Let's seriously just cut it open and eat it. So let's, we will finish with these in a bit. I know this isn't really necessarily what you'd call a complete dish, but stuff it. So a bit more mushroom salt. Maybe you might want something else with it, but in my mind, if you can have a farmer who produces mushrooms like these, and, in, and you're not a person, you're, and you're not a meat eater, or even if you are, I guarantee you this will just make both parties the happiest you can possibly get. I'm not a huge fan of tasting my food and going, mmm, that's delicious, yeah, because uh -huh, of course you're gonna say that. You're not gonna say it's disgusting, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm actually gonna do it with this one and I'm gonna taste it, and I'm, I don't care what you think. Look at that. I mean, it's just juice pouring from that. So juicy. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to say anything, but that is ridiculous. That's incredible, right? yeah. That's really good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I mean, to think something, right, can be that succulent that isn't full of fat from meat, you know what I mean? Like, it isn't... I told you, at first, you probably didn't believe me, the first time I ate these, I cried. Like, the ultimate goal for food when you eat it is to, like, well up, because it's that good. Oh, my God, and then we just got these, and we're ready to go. Mm, that was amazing. Oh, so good. So, okay, we have a confession to make. The wind picked up outside, and thank God at, at Jason's house, we have uh, an amazing kitchen to be able to finish up our mushrooms for it. Do you mind if I walk through the house? You're okay with that? I don't want to ruin anything. Should be okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. The puff is going to be scared or wants to eat. I don't know. <laughs> Stairs, watch out. Stairs.
Bit of lemon. I love a lot of dill. Stuff rocks. This epic sauce, which is pretty dark and ominous, but it's got black garlic, so you're gonna have to realize that's the case. Frico cooked in mushroom dashi with um, like a black garlic sauce, blue oyster mushrooms, heaps of dill, heaps of herbs. We're at a, an amazing mushroom joint, owned by this man here, Mushroom Connection, making this, some of the best mushrooms in Victoria, if not Australia, um, at the most, most beautiful location just near Ballarat. So thank you for having us, man. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. I think we need to get some forks and dig in. What do you reckon? The cameras will not be rolling. Amazing. Let's eat, shall we? You hungry? Good, good.